Hey guys, it's Callie. I am up on the Crafty Maven Getaway channel today, and it is Art Party Friday, which means it is time for a little bit of mixed media on my layout. So my kitty is going to make a couple of appearances in this video. We have been on vacation for last week, and I've been home a few days when I made this layout, and she did not want to leave my side. So I let her hang out with me for a little while on the desk until I, you know, bothered her enough with my um, moving things around and she will make another appearance. So the mood board this week was really pretty, but for me it was very challenging. I immediately was drawn to the different shades of the turquoise with the wood grain as well and I looked in my stash and I did not have anything that had that really dark wood grain or that dark brown wood with anything that had like the pops of the turquoise and that kind of very soft gray color and there's also some white in it and I wanted to try to make this a clean mixed media layout because if you were to refer back to the uh, mood board there's a home um, I don't know what they call it you know like a, a staging and it's very clean looking and so I wanted to see if I could translate that into this layout so at this point, I'm just pulling out things from my Felicity Jane kit. I think this is called Maggie. And the only thing that I wished was that the wood grain was a little bit darker, but the colors tended to work a little bit better. I have a lot of crate paper in my stash and those are all cream based and I really wanted to stick with the white for this. So I am just cutting up some of the Project Life cards or the cut apart sheet that comes um, in the kit and layering them up behind my photo and using one of the four inch doilies and a glassine envelope as some of my layers as well. So you'll see me, I'm just right now trying to figure out what I want where because when I go to do my mixed media I don't want to do a lot of it behind the photo and behind the title to where it's going to get lost. I want it to be uh, purposeful mixed media on this. So, uh, you know, at this point, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out where I want things to go. And it's about this time that I realized, number one, I'm not going to use those vellum scallops because I feel like they get lost on the background. And the second thing is I decided I wanted to do something with my title. And I've seen lots of other people do this before, and I decided I would be brave and get my big girl pants on, and I am going to emboss just half of this wood veneer. And, you know, when you've got a wood veneer statement piece like this, it just, you know, makes me nervous and excited to kind of see how it's going to come out. And um, I do emboss it with white and I forgot to leave how it turns out at the end so you're just gonna have to wait and see when I put it back on the page. So when I set that aside because I feel like it needs to dry a little bit on its own I went ahead and pulled out this Prima stencil and decided that for this I'm just gonna do white uh, modeling paste through the stencil and I'm gonna add some uh, spray mist uh, droplets at the end and that's pretty much going to be it for my mixed media. I want it to go around, oh yes this is where Juliet makes her other appearance and I thought she was going to get a paw print in the stenciling so I had to um, give her a little bit of loving because you know like I said she made her presence known and I did not want it to uh, mess up my page so anyway when she was uh, sufficiently loved on and could sit beside me again, I came back to this and I decided that I wanted to fussy cut some of the flowers out of this pattern paper. And again, I just really was going for the clean look and I debated on whether or not to watercolor these flowers. And I think that watercolor with these flowers would be beautiful. And if I do that, I would probably gesso them just because it is a large surface area of the flower. And I would want it to, you know, have a smoother color appearance. 
but I decided in the end to keep them white because I felt like that fit the mood board theme or the theme of the mood board better than the watercolor. So I am not going to make you sit through me fussy cutting all of the flowers. It does take a little bit of time, but I was watching Gilmore Girls while I was doing this, so it was not a big deal. Okay, so I ended up coming back to this layout the next day because I kind of got stuck and I wasn't quite sure what I was not liking about the layout. And I finally decided that it was because the photo was in black and white. And I felt like if I had the photo in color that it would bring in the warm colors of that wood grain. And I knew that our shirts were blue, so it would work well with the colors of the pattern papers and I just felt like that was what the problem was and when I switched it out immediately the layout just brightened up a bit more for me and I I love black and white photos but it just you know goes to show what a difference color can make so at this point what I'm trying to figure out is if I want to keep my photo cluster at the bottom or do I wanna just turn the page around and move it up top? And I am going to take pictures with my iPad and then I'm gonna just, you know, I'm trying to see what, what ways I can make the page. And I'm gonna go back and forth looking at the pictures. And ultimately I decide that I am gonna flip it up top. And I do that for a couple of reasons. First, I do it because my natural inclination is to put layers um, towards the bottom and I wanted to change it up a little bit. Second, I loved the placement of that black rubber bow on the title You and Me and I thought that the bow worked better with embellishment clusters or you know with the pops of black around the layout. I felt like it worked better on the title further away from the photo and that if I did it in the bottom right hand corner on top of the Y that it would make everything right at the photo which is not what I wanted. I'd like there to be a little bit of breathing room. So that is ultimately why I decided to flip it up. And the wood veneer piece title, The You and Me, I think turned out great. It is definitely something that was a little bit scary for me. You know, when you have a big piece like that, that is just, you know, such a statement piece. And if I've said this already, I am sorry. It's only like the 10th time I've had to do this voiceover. Um, but I, I'm always afraid I'm gonna mess it up. And so I, you know, I don't wanna mess my, my unique pieces up. If it's a piece of cardstock, I don't care. You know, if it's a piece of pattern paper, I'm a little bit more leery about that, but this, you know, something like this, you know, just almost causes me to, um, you know, be paralyzed with fear, but I've just learned to let it go and to have fun and embrace it. And it worked out beautifully. So speaking of technology, oh, maybe somebody can tell me. I video with my phone and for whatever reason, my laptop would not you know, download the video, part one of the video. So I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna go in through my laptop into my phone and just, you know, copy it and paste it that way. It would not recognize it. And I ended up having to go through Dropbox and upload it to Dropbox on my phone to go onto my laptop and download it from Dropbox onto my laptop. It was crazy. I have no idea what happened. You know, I could play the video on my phone and it just wasn't doing anything. So if you are smarter than me when it comes to things like that and you know what happens, let me know because that is like, it drives me crazy. You know, technology is a great thing, but then it's not a great thing when you're trying to get it to work. So when I'm looking at this vid or the layout, what I wanted to do is bring a little pop of black in that bottom left-hand cluster. The bow was there, that little heart in that upper right-hand corner was there, and so I felt like if I maybe just stamped a word or a phrase that 
it would balance out the black. So I just picked a generic love because, you know, of course it's me and my daughter and I love being with her. So it, you know, was a perfect little word and I felt like it did balance out that black. So this um, picture was taken while we were on vacation and it was funny. We went out to eat with um, my niece and nephew and their kids and they um, had looked at me and they were like, did you two plan on wearing the same clothes? Because Emily and I both had a navy top on and white shorts and we we're like, yeah, no. Um, and it was just kind of cute. It's one of those things that you don't think about, but I guess we are more alike than we're not. And, you know, you can see some of the similarities in this photo. So anyway, we're at the end. I'm just adding some enamel dots and a couple clusters, and I have to move those several times until I can find exactly where I want them. And this is where I bring in a little bit of that darker teal as well that is in the mood board. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon. And I do have some stills at the end where you can see the details of the layout. So take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.